Welcome back to County Connection. For this next segment, we are going to be talking about gardening in Summit County. And here to tell us all about it are Haley Yeager from High Country Conservation Center and Bill Shank from the Summit County Resource Allocation Park, or the SCRAP, as we also call it. Welcome. Um, so gardening season is upon us um, and uh, Summit County and High Country Conservation Center have a great partnership when it comes to community gardens. So Haley, tell us what's going on. We do have a great partnership and it's all about keeping it local. So one of the benefits of community gardening in the first place is allowing anyone to be able to grow their own food. And so much of growing food has to do with the soil that um, and the plant nutrients of what is going to grow out of that. And we are so thankful for the scrap and their work in producing the compost for the gardens, high country compost, but not only that, donating compost to all six of our community gardens. Awesome. So Bill, tell us about the compost program right. at the scrap. Excellent. So we take um, wood chips, we grind them up, we take biosolids from our, a couple of our local wastewater treatment plants and we'll mix those in from like a two to one ratio and it'll be like a 13 week process with pathogen reduction and then after it's tested it is rated as a class three compost with that rate rating it means it has an unrestricted use to it so that means that you can grow vegetables in it so after we get it tested and when we are all sure on that we will screen it to two different sizes. We have the half inch high country compost, and then we also have a, a quarter inch compost that is kind of like of a top dress that you can spread all over your lawns. Uh, we have every, anybody from mom and pops to local landscaping um, companies that come and buy it, and it is a very popular uh, product. Awesome. And, um, and this is just filled packed to the brim with nutrients. It is so amazing whether you're growing flowers or whether you're landscaping or growing vegetables. Um, Haley, do you have some firsthand experience with this? I do, and I also want to make it known that HC3's Food Scrap Recycling Program, that is also integrated into High Country Compost. Um, so I'm not, I'm, eating um, and trying to eliminate food waste, but any food scraps I have are going back into the soil to keep um, that soil nutrient dense. So you really can close the circle here in yeah. Summit County. Absolutely. All right. And it's not, um, it's not just for our community gardens. Like Bill said, we really recommend it for any home gardener as well. And even, uh, I had two people walk into HC3's office today by hearsay saying, where can I get some of that high country compost? Because um, from other gardeners, they know it's the best. Yeah, um, I have to say when I first put my garden together, I got a big uh, um, a truckload of high country compost and the very first year it, my garden totally went off so totally awesome yay yeah <laughs> um so Haley tell us a little bit more about the community gardens that we have in Summit County where they're located how people can get involved of course so HC3 helps to run six community gardens across the county we have our Breckenridge Community Garden which is in partnership with Colorado Mountain College and we have a couple plots open there still um, so if there's any more gardeners who want to grow food or we welcome new gardeners we have lots of classes um, please sign up we also have our Frisco garden which is over by the Nordic Center and this is an awesome area for businesses um, to get involved and sponsor a plot either grow food for uh, families in need or uh, have it be a team building experience for the office cool. then we have Nancy's garden in Frisco as well that's located next to the senior center. That garden's unique because you have a in-ground plot outside and then you get another one um, in a little greenhouse as well. Okay, so for some of the less hardy yes. uh, vegetables out there. Exactly. Um, we have Silvana's, which is in Silverthorn and it is an incredible community network that has been going strong for years. And uh, new this year, we're so happy to announce Leslie's Community Garden 
in downtown Dillon uh, being constructed right behind the fire station. Fabulous. And last but not least, we have Dillon Valley Elementary School Garden, which is a wonderful partnership between the elementary school FERC and WIC, and all of those plots are produce food for our Grow to Share program, which is a community outreach for families in need. We're growing supplemental nutrition and providing education for those families. Um, awesome. So we're really proud of that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have somewhat of a short growing season mm -hmm. here in Summit County, but uh, that shouldn't stop folks from um, getting involved, getting their hands dirty, getting into that high country compost. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us what some of the benefits are and why people should get involved, even if they may not think of Summit County as having like, oh, like, is that yeah. possible here? <laughs> Wonderful. So we always say it's kind of, it, yes, we have a, a shorter growing season. Um, our freeze date is June 15th. 15th and lots of avid gardeners have their seed starts ready to put in the ground at that point but lettuce tubers carrots um, grow extremely well in this climate uh, and we can host classes and workshops um, on Wednesdays of every month um, for any gardener that wants to learn from others and our expert gardeners to continue. Um, so the first and foremost benefit is being able to grow healthy, fresh, organic food for your family, for your business, or for other families in need. Um, beyond that, it's awesome place to have a sense of community because it is a community garden make new friends and um, it can be philanthropic as well uh, with the grow to share program and not to mention the benefits uh, to the environment because of high country compost we're keeping everything local uh, we are not using any uh, pesticides which can be really harmful for the environment um, having community gardens is better for your water table. Um, I could go on and on, <laughs> but for, for additional benefits, you can visit the highcountryconservation.org website. All right, fantastic. Um, and Haley, you mentioned workshops. So there is a workshop coming up May 8th, is that right? Yes. You're What's going on? Exactly right, Julie. So uh, May 8th, in partnership with the Summit County Libraries, we're hosting a seed starting workshop. Janet Young, one of our um, longtime gardeners in Nancy's Community Gardens, is um, showing demonstrations on how to plant your seeds indoors in egg cartons and inspire them to grow so they're ready to plant. Um, early June when we have access to the gardens. Um, and she's also going over other gardening techniques as well. Fun, mm -hmm. sounds like a great event. Yeah, we had like 25 people come out to our intro to high altitude gardening workshop uh, last month. So we're nice. hoping for another turnout. Everyone's invited. Excellent. Um, well, we're fortunate to have such a great partnership with High Country Conservation, whether it's through our libraries or mm -hmm. through the scrap. And actually, Bill, why don't you just um, give us a little quick insight into how that partnership works between the scrap well, and they HC3. Are, as you know, our waste diversion and educational outreach program for us. So mm -hmm. yes, they uh, organize tours to come, promote recycling in the schools, as you mentioned, um, come up to the scrap located near Keystone. We can give tours from anywhere from third graders to CMC mm -hmm. um, level sustainability students. Um, they're out doing their events every year. They've got three or four major events that they do. Um, they, of course, they do the Frisco Barbecue Challenge, which as you may know, is quite challenging in itself. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, they are our uh, waste diversion and educational outreach partners. Awesome. Um, all right, so um, how can folks get more info on High Country Compost and all the gardening, community gardening um, programs that you have going on? Visit highcountryconservation.org and specifically go to our community gardening tab that will give you access to all of the gardens to apply. Uh, I do urge everyone to apply soon because we only have plots available in Breckenridge and our Frisco gardens and like 
two left in Nancy's. Okay. Um, at the bottom of that page, you can also find all the information and click through to pricing for the High Country Compost as well. All right, fantastic. Well, Haley and Bill, thanks so much for coming into the SCTV studio today and sharing all this great information about gardening, composting, recycling, so many good things. You're Thanks welcome. for having us. Thanks, Julie. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about childcare and early childhood education in Summit County.